Hello, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Cuisine. You found me on my food trailer again, and it is one hot August day here in Texas, let me tell you. We are, we are sweating a little bit, but we are selling barbecue here. And I was going to show you how we fix up one of our dishes here. I'm going to show you how we do our brisket tacos. We're inside the trailer here now, as you can see, but uh, we're going to get this set up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my tortillas on the comal. I got a good hot uh, griddle over here. We call it a comal around here, but we're going to let these start going until they kind of start puffing up. And we'll give you a view of that real quick. Okay. You can see right now, see where these are starting to puff? That's what you're looking for. Grab them, kind of use your nail do that it's not too hot on your fingers get them flipped over let them go on that other side a little bit I'll grab me a foil bring those up off of there and they are just a little bit warm you can see they've toasted up nice and when they puff like that you know they're ready just be careful because they have steam in them and you can't burn yourself sometimes like that back over here again I got a brisket I've been cutting on here for a while. It's a nice, here you go, give you a look at it. Pretty brisket, nice and moist, got a good uh, smoke ring around it. Get a napkin there, clean my hands off. But we are going to uh, do this. Take that bottom off of it right there. And I'm getting right up on the point, so really it's about time for me to turn and start cutting the other direction. So let me go here. And that's a nice, pretty deckled in of a brisket. Y'all can see that. Three good slices. Then I'll cut these slices in half. Some people like the the lean in. I actually like the deckled in, anyways. It's a lot, a lot juicier, a lot more flavor down on that deckled in, but. To make these, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use one slice of each one of those off each one. Take it, a little barbecue sauce, and here's my tongs, and I'm going to top this with some beautiful coleslaw. We make this fresh. I will put a link in the description box for my uh, coleslaw recipe. I made a uh, hamburger the other day. I did a slaw burger fries and a bottle of ski. I'll put that link down there too if y'all remember the Kentucky Headhunters and their song Dumas Walkers. Anyways, my coleslaw recipe is on that video, so I'll, I'll put a link for it on there for that. But I'll take it, and uh, let's see here. Open up my case here. Put that there. First taco is in the box. And let's see if we can make a couple more. Maybe this tortilla. Again, one slice of brisket. Some of my chipotle barbecue sauce. Our fresh made coleslaw on top of that. That coleslaw, the creaminess to it's nice. You could do these uh, Mexican style if you wanted to, you know, and you could use, sometimes we'll do avocado and grill some onions and peppers and put on there too. But today I'm going with the coleslaw version, which is real nice. Third one, a nice order of three here. That one's on. Chipotle barbecue sauce, some of our nice creamy coleslaw, and this is a mayonnaise base, but it also has some vinegar in it, so it's got a little tang, got a little sour cream in there. It's excellent coleslaw, so look and see if you can find that on that coleslaw, or coleslaw fries and a burger, a ski video, but there's that one, so we've got three in there. And they look like somebody need to eat them. Let's check and see how these taste. 
got one of them right here. They can be just a little bit messy if you're not careful, but you can see my, my brisket. I've got my uh, barbecue sauce on there. There's that pretty slaw. It's a, it's a, lo it's a lovely taco. It's a great tasting taco, but let's give it a try. Mm. I tell you that soft flour tortilla coupled with that savory brisket coming off there and then you've got a little bit of heat coming in behind you with that chipotle barbecue sauce and then the creaminess of that coleslaw and the crunch of that fresh cabbage some beautiful red cabbage green cabbage and of course our uh, carrots beautiful orange carrots on the back end makes it a very colorful dish a very tasty dish a very satisfying dish so I recommend next time you do a brisket hey you don't always have to serve barbecue type plates with it do some tacos that's something different there's a lot of things you can do there's different things I do with brisket to change it up serving as appetizers a lot of different things but one thing we do is is we do make these brisket tacos with a fresh coleslaw and our chipotle barbecue sauce and people rave about them they love them they're great you need to try them thanks for stopping by tell your friends and family about us always do appreciate that give us a thumbs up subscribe our channel and uh, let everybody know what's going on on texas style barbecue and cuisine and we're gonna see you down the road how them boys put food away beats all i've ever seen